I'm still uh, dialing in my looks here. All right, so this one's gonna be a little different. I'm between scripts right now, so I thought I would just kind of sit down and chat for a bit. Let's just hang out for as long as I feel like editing this to be. Could be less than five minutes, could be over five hours, could be five days together. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, that I would never edit that. You know, of all the things that make up my creative space, one of my favorites is still the thing that makes like little to no difference whatsoever. It's this guy right here, this little magnetic fidget toy thing. Uh, freaking love this thing so much. I've had them for years, and, and yes, I do mean them as in more than one. Uh, I got three of them. So <laughs> one for my office, one for my job at the tech shop, and uh, another just to keep on handy in my camera bag for when I'm out and about shooting. Uh, this thing kind of helps me like focus. I use it all the time. It, when I'm drafting up emails or when I'm between editing photos uh, or even like my videos for long term, it's just a, a nice one to two minute distraction to kind of keep me from getting like tunnel vision or I start overlooking things. Uh, this thing comes in clutch. I think I remember reading that these things were made specifically for like people with ADHD. I don't know about all that, but it has served me very well. Been working on more photography. Uh, along with getting back into video making, I picked up my camera and kind of was able to go out and shoot some more for myself. Uh, even picked up a few photo gigs along the way. So that's been great. I want to get some like big prints to go along the house. I know like even like two here could be nice. Uh, I feel like a good chunk of my portfolio work that I've done makes for some pretty decent prints. And I think here's a good space for it. I don't know. I've really liked the metal prints that I've gotten before. Uh, and it has like this like floating mount kind of deal. And so it can all just be interchangeable if I just want to swap out the prints per video or per month or per year. I'm a big advocate for photographers printing out their work in general, but there's something about the metal prints that just I don't know, it feels really good quality to me. I like having that contrast on there. I like the way it feels and how reliable that is. Uh, I really do think that it could outlive me. And there's something about that that I really like. I know the work is supposed to be able to stand aside from the individual, but on an intimate level, it's something about being able to pass that along, something tangible that can provide even just the smallest bit of value. And then having that traced back to me, that's, that's nice. Who's to say? On another note, I got a new steelbook for the collection. I don't really collect like that. Uh, all due respect to those who do, I just don't have the patience for it, but you know, appreciate the hustle. For me, it's just a matter of, I like the 4K image that comes off of something natively than to stream it over Netflix or any of the other streaming services. It's all compressed 4K. It's 4K, but muddy. And uh, yeah, why steelbook? I hear you typing away. Uh, well. It's just a better quality product. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. There's nothing bigger to dig into on that. I just think it's a nice quality package for the movie itself. Actually, now that I'm kind of talking about this, I wonder if I could just make like a little sequence to show what I have to any of those out there who do collect or are interested at all in what I do have. Uh, it's not much of a collection again, but it is some of my all time favorites. This will be fun to make. Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our theater.
Everything is quality and mm, so good. And the latest to my collection is one of the only TV shows I think I would ever actually want like this. Uh, it's, it's Arcane. I was shocked that Netflix actually was making physical media for their stuff. And I definitely plan on getting the other half of the show as soon as season two becomes available. Bringing this up is actually kind of funny because I made a quick rant the other day, right before the latest batch of episodes got dropped. Uh, Arcane is flat out like my favorite adult animated or really just animated show ever and it's not even close. They just, they have these montages that could be little music videos and the way they use these like sequences to just showcase like emotion or story beats or action sequences, uh, it's it's second to none. The, the music is on point, the choreography is on point, the animation is beautiful and the way they like blend into almost different styles, um, it, it, it's so much attention to detail. I just think that along with the actual story of Arcane itself, all of the rich characters, and again, this stunning animation style that they've gone with, uh, I just don't see what show you're gonna find that's better in quality and this well-rounded in quality. Now, all these different aspects make for like an incredible show. Yeah, no, you're not gonna find an animated show that's better than Arcane. It, it, it's all subjective, it, it is, it's all subjective but you're wrong, watch Arcane and just thank me later. <laughs> that's not, that's not fair. Oh, hi, hi, what's up? <laughs> okay, okay, hi, can I, thank you, thank you. Having uh, Ali here has been fantastic, by the way. Uh, just one, for our sake and our sanity, uh, but two, it's nice like having her with Marigo, so when we would leave to places that we couldn't take Marigo before, uh, we don't feel as bad knowing that these two just kind of keep each other company. Uh, it's funny because Ali is Marigo's mom and yet I feel like Marigo has been leading this pack, <laughs> which might be why Ali got like as comfortable with us as fast as she did. So it feels like we've had her for years. Now that they're here, I'm going to see if I can just get some quick photos of them or something. Uh, I think that could be kind of fun right now too. So I think I might wrap this one up. I'm kind of spiraling now on more things that I want to talk about and I don't want this to get too bloated. So yeah, it's weird having such a, a fun way to like brain dump, but it's also so publicly uh, weird. How do you end a video like this naturally? I, you just don't. 